Okay, hi everybody. Uh, today I'm just talking with uh, Alan. Alan, uh, we met over Facebook, and now uh, Alan's actually a full-time accountant. And then he'll talk more about his story as well. But uh, now he does uh, e-commerce at the site, which is uh, supplemental income. But if he wants to grow into a full-time income, and I uh, just want to hear his story and how he has like transitioned into that as well. Okay, so I mean, um, Alan, do you want to show them your stuff first, just to show like what are the results uh, prior? So uh, before we met, right? And then you were doing, I remember the neck massage thing. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah, the, like the smart neck massager. I yep. call it uh, Netflix because I was trying to play on, like, you know, play on the, the whole Netflix, you know, the streaming service. Yeah. Yep. And I guess they, that's they your first foray in. And then what's the, it was quite bad, I'll say, sorry. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, I mean, you're, you're absolutely correct. Um, like when I started that, um, I think I was like happy if I get like one or two sales a day. Okay. Like, because uh, I, I, I think when I was just going into, it, I really didn't know what I was doing. I did. I just, just see people doing it on, you know, YouTube or, you know, under job shipping forms, and just yeah. say, hey, this seems easy. You just go put a product on a store and hope people come to your site and buy it, right? So, yeah, yeah there was a lot of stuff I didn't understand about like how to create like marketing angles, offers that, uh, you know, I learned through your program. Okay. Then now, how many sales are you doing like consistently? Um, I, I think I hit, you know, a couple like uh, 1k days here and there, which is awesome. That's kind of like my goal going into this, but, uh, I would say I'm averaging around like five, $600 a day. Okay. Okay. And the profit margin is around what? 20, 25% I'm guessing. Yeah. The profit margin is, I mean like the, like if we don't count Facebook ads, my margin is like 80%. <laughs> okay. We count but, like pure yeah, profit. If we, pure count, profit. If we yeah. count pure profit is yeah, it's like 10, 15. Yeah. 10, 15. Okay, so yeah. now it's just more like transitioning to how to scale up. It's not necessarily um, ads. Like you know you know what to do, you just need to execute. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. like um, I I realize I realize more now like on things like what, what makes something sell, right? Yeah. So I, I realize more about like what, what, what makes a great offer. But I also realize the <laughs> kind of limitations of like certain products I choose, right? Because yeah. like I have, I, I, so I, 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 can, I can share, like I'm, I'm doing rose bears, right? So uh, on, on this product, it's basically like, like a nice gifting product. Um, you know, it, it's like a teddy bear that's made of like these uh, like foam roses. So it's like a great gift for like, you know, holidays, anniversaries and stuff, um, which you know, a lot of other stores are doing. So uh, there are competition. So it's not like the most unique products in the world. But I think um, what helps is just, you know, doing the, you know, the whole customer persona thing that you guys us do and your program, Jonathan, just being identified, what's the pain point, you know, what, what makes someone goes, oh, I have to buy this, you know, so, you know, my whole thing was I play on the whole, uh, you know, COVID was going on, uh, you know, people are separated from their uh, significant others, their families, so, mm -hmm. hey, this is something you can give them to remind them how much you love them, how much you miss them. So that's one of the, that was one of the things at ways I was like trying to angle it while actually saying it, right? Because Facebook would ban you if you actually say those words. Yeah. So just, yeah, because you, you kind of just like to get them to feel that way. It's like, hey, you're still looking for the perfect gift. You know, are you, are you missing your family? Like when you're in these five Zoom calls meeting every day for work, do you really have time to go look for something? But Hey man, you don't have to go look any further. Just look at look at this ad, and you know, <laughs> yeah, just yeah. click on here, and you can buy it. And we'll try to make it simple for you, you know, yeah. free shipping and all that other stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's going well. But I, I the the limitation I'm, I'm in my mind is obviously it's because it's uh, a holiday product. Yeah. Um, I'm, I do better when there's special occasions coming up, right? Like this yeah. Christmas, this Black Friday, this like different difficult holidays. But yeah. when those things are not around, I I realize some my sales do fall because of that so yeah i mean um, it's just you know, seasonal right so yeah, yeah yeah seasonal so yeah. for like you know for my next part i would i would love to take what i learned and find something that's more evergreen right so yeah. the problem of a problem solving thing that people need every day you know like a, like a kitchen product something like they, they just need you know over and over again not just not just like one time of the year or you know a couple of times of the year very special occasion so yeah. um yeah, I, I also want to go into like how I'm doing like the whole supply, trying to control the supply chain now also, but yeah, that can right. be another topic. Yeah, so I, I don't know whether you've seen uh interview I did with Paul. Did you watch that? I haven't seen it. Okay, so basically Paul, uh, so like like you and Paul, right, uh, probably the most active people in the group. Uh, sorry, not active people in the group, like the most uh, action takers. So that's how you see the results the fastest, honestly, right? So like Paul managed to scale to 239K. Yeah, he did 140k a month. He went from 30 to 140, right? And like, it doesn't matter what you are at your stage, but it just matters you take action, right? And like, he does. He has a. He you don't. You have daughters, 
he doesn't. So don't, you know what I mean? Don't compare uh, his success to whatever to yours, right? You're, you're yeah. on the right path. You just need to just like constantly take action, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, at, it, I'm at his beginning step, basically. Yes, <laughs> correct. But, but you know the roadmap already, so it's fine. You get yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so I mean, you, yeah. you share your screen first, then afterwards we do a normal convo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I think I, I started a store, um, I'll say Argus, maybe? No sale. I guess, yeah, I, I guess I have sessions. I didn't even have sales yet. Yeah. Um, maybe August 3rd. Let me, let me check July. I'm trying to think about when I actually started this. Yeah, like, <laughs> this is this is me in July. I think this is before I uh, was really, uh, I think maybe this, maybe this is the beginning of the program, I think, Jonathan. Yep. I think when I started with you in July, right? So mm. I think for the whole month in July, I was only, I only did $555. Correct. Because you're, you're yeah. scared to spend. I literally told you don't spend first, right? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think I was just, I didn't know what I was doing. So yeah. I was like, I feel like I was just losing money. Any, anything, anything I run, I was just like losing money in Facebook ads. Yep. Uh, because I uh, yeah didn't understand the creatives like uh, yeah everything so yeah it was I think it was pretty uh pretty, pretty terrible <laughs> I'm pretty sure I lost a lot of money in yeah. this month um so I guess yeah we could just go month from month right so uh Argus was actually one, one of my first months I was like oh wow I can hit I can hit 10k so that's really okay. good that's I good. think that's when we the first mental uh, barrier I'll say right yeah then we got really into the program and I think that that's kind of what I've been able to do like um in the future months, like around this amount, like 205 orders. I think September, um, I ran, I, so September was a pretty, I think not a so, good month. Yeah, because okay. uh, the reason is I realized my supplier, this is this is the whole thing was basically ship, shipping the, the the product and not in the way I wanted to. Like basically yeah. they'll ship the rose bear and then they'll ship the gift box, but like fold it, you know? So it's not, so because the limitation of this product is that Unlike other products, you can just throw it in a bag, you know, they can, customers don't care about the appearance, right? The look of the product. If you have anyone ever do like gifting niche, they have to realize that customer really care about the appearance of the product. They have to look presentable, you know, because the whole point is they're going to, they want to give it to their loved one. They don't want to look like it's wrapping, like, you know, clear wrapping, you know, like not, not very presentable look. So mm-hmm. this, this is the month where I decided to scale down actually after realizing this is what my supplier was doing after getting like, like a lot of refunds, a lot of customer complaints. So, mm-hmm. I basically just decided to, hey, screw it. I'm going to import products. So I went to Alibaba and found like a bunch of suppliers and uh, decided to just bring it in-house, you know, and that actually cut down, uh, basically made my margin a lot better. So even though like my, I would say my revenue still stays around the same because I'm still, you know, one, one of the things I'm still like uh, having like a little, a little issue with is like how to scale, how to be confidently be able to like, put in a lot of money to scale even higher numbers. So I haven't been able to do that yet, but at least I'm able to protect my margins. So like, like I was saying, Jonathan, like before when I was working on my supplier, just like, you know, like from, from China, uh, I would say like my, just my product margin was around like 50%, mm. but now it's around 80% okay. because it's so much cheaper when you buy in bulk, you know, yeah. like uh, he was charging me, I'll say, um, uh, I don't know, around like 23 and when you buy a bulk, you can get it for eight dollar unit. Yeah. So, so I, I, see, I, like, I mentioned to you, at, right? yeah, correct. correct. Yeah. You, you start job yeah. you do it like step by step, and then once you get scale, then your costs just decrease. Is that exactly yeah, what yeah. I told you, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, I'm I'm just doing it, like in home fulfillment. Uh, Jonathan knows I stay up really late <laughs> yeah, yeah. during that kind of thing. But yeah. when when you have a daughter, you kind of just kind of find time to do your side hustle. So that's yeah. what I've been doing. So at nighttime, I basically fulfill orders. Like the reason I'm showing San Francisco in the background is because like my room's a mess. My office is just like full of bears behind me <laughs> that I have to, I have to fulfill. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I mean, just looking into it, I think my, I think I think October looks better. I imagine, yeah, exactly. So I start going back up again, um, and then I think now we're in November, right? November twenty-seven. Yeah. I mean, for for Black so, Friday, why didn't you try scaling? Um, it's kind of like the same reason. So I did, I did try, I did try putting in more ad dollars. It just, I don't think I can do it at a, like a very profitable. I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, it's just, just the product that's... Uh, the, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, okay. it's, yeah, my product, I think, has some limitations in itself. So right now, I'm just, I'm actually looking just to, um, you know, finish up the this, this stock of inventory I have left. So I bought 300 units and I sold uh, 180 so far. 
right? So I have 120 left. So hopefully I can make a big push, like a big discount push for Christmas and just get it all out and, you know, try, try my hand at next product. Well, all this knowledge I gained from doing this and knowing okay. that the potential is there, right? Because yep. like, like I show you at the beginning, I was only doing 500. When yes. I was doing my Netflix, I was only doing like 100. Yeah, 100 yeah, yeah. I remember, maybe, I remember, you know? yeah. Yeah, like I'll sell like, I'll sell like, I think I was selling it for, I don't know, 39.99, 49 So I'll sell maybe like two. <laughs> I'll make me like $80, $100 at most. Yeah. Like my ROAS was like, like pretty crap, like 0. 0.5, 0. 0.6, you know? So I was yeah. like, oh, this is not working. I don't know what, what's happening. Uh, but yeah, to even, to even reach this level, I'm kind of like just knowing that uh, how to set up the offer, how to set up the product page, you know? It's very so, liberating, right? It's like- It is, you, it is. Yeah. It's, like, it's, yeah. it's repeatable, right? right? I would say that's yeah. the best word. So I would say next time I'll learn more, I'll be more like Paul, like to do a problem solving <laughs> a yeah. product than more like a gifting product. Gifting product just has a lot of headaches because um, you kind of need to control the logistic supply line yes. too closely, you know? Because like in home fulfillment, it takes up a lot of time. So if you'd go, if you just break it down by hours, it's probably not worth it. Yeah. Um, especially when you could be spending this time looking at more like top level strategy, doing more like, you know, scaling, doing more Facebook creatives, like more than that. But honestly, I'm, I'm half my time is fulfilling, which is great. I'm getting like or, a lot of organic reviews. <laughs> people <laughs> like, people like the product. It just, yeah. uh, I'm not getting, I'm not doing it in, at a scale where, you know, it's very profitable. Yep. I would say, yeah. Understood. Yeah. So, so, so like even for me, right. When I, when I started, I'm scared as well. Right. But then once you hit like uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 K, right. Then you, you, you get, confidence in yourself to do this over and over right so for, exactly. for me like now like 100k per month is like uh it's not it's quite bad to say but it's like it's like nothing like that you know what i mean it's like a desensitized yeah. in a sense so for you right what do you think is uh like the barrier for you okay besides fulfillment or do you think okay I, i'm actually ready to start getting like hit higher numbers it's just more like logistics is not able to support my uh ambition now yeah so uh i would say like the, the the biggest thing is well there's like just two barriers one is in-home fulfillment t- sucks up too much time right yep. so the, the right move is is um if i'm doing this at scale i go and buy like i go and really invest in this business buy two three thousand units okay? that's the only that's the, those are numbers that make sense if you're going to go to fulfillment center because they they have like like these a lot of these like monthly storage fees and things they charge yep. so yep. you want to give them a large quantity to when you break it down, it's worth it, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, that's one barrier is basically, I got, I have, I need someone else to do fulfillment. I can't do it because it's, it's taking up too much time. So like, I'm afraid to, like if one day I can, I do like 30, 40 orders a day, right? Yeah. I don't, I will be up till like 6 a.m. <laughs> doing orders myself, right? So it doesn't make sense. That's one barrier. Second barrier is uh, because I'm focusing so much time on fulfillment, it's, it's taking away time where I'm supposed to be learning, you know, Facebook ads. I'm supposed to be learning uh, how to make better creators, right? Because like, obviously, uh, I could always, I, I know that creative sells, right? Just, mm-hmm. it, like you make, a, you make a killer creative, you, you can sell a product. So I, 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 need, I see that my, you know, my CTR is only 2%. Can I, how do I make a creative that can hit 4 or 5%, right? Like that, that just drastically in, increased your, uh, the scale of your store just from that. So uh, those are things that um, I need to get better at, but I also need just, <laughs> just need to we go focus more time at because uh, like Jonathan knows because I have a family, I only have a certain amount of hours, right? Like, it's, say, fair. Like, it's fair, it's yeah, fair. Like, say, p- say p- people like are, you, are not as hardworking as you, yeah. Yeah, so like I'm like, I'm like just every day I'm like, hey, how do I fit as much as possible in three, four hours, you know? Yep. And if two hours is done with is spent fulfilling, then I only have two hours left. And, you know, <laughs> two hours, not a lot to focus on a business that you're trying to make it into your full-time thing. So uh, that's kind of like what I learned from this. Like inventory, oh man, guys, make sure someone else is doing that for you. Because if you have to inventory yourself, you could be taking up too much of your time and it's not, it's not helping the big picture. Yep, understood, understood. Okay. So, I mean, okay, you can stop trading now. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. No yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, I, I want to know from your standpoint, right, Alan? Okay. So, now, now we know your journey. Uh, how did you start? Like, how do you get into e into like internet marketing, all these things? Yeah. So, I guess um, from the beginning, I was just like a lurker, I would say. I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. There's a business <laughs> called dropshipping where, you know, you never have to touch the product. Just, you're just acting as a middleman and someone else gets it. I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, but uh, honestly, I got into it, like really started like say, hey, I need I need to jump in is because um, more like a, like a personal work issue where, you know, when, when the pandemic happened, uh, all, the, all these companies started like laying off people, furloughing people and things like that. Well, Alchemy didn't want to do that, right? So yep. they decided just everyone had to take a pay cut, 
which is very devastating, right? But most people, they're expecting a certain amount of paycheck and then they get a pretty big cut. So I realized, you know, just depending on one stream of income is pretty um, narrow-minded and scary, really, when, especially when you have a family. So um, I, I was really motivated at that point, basically, to um, do something about that. So I wanted to diversify my in- income stream. So I mean, this was, is in 2019 or 2020? This is in uh, early this year. So I would say March, right? When, when the COVID really, really happened. Okay. Yeah. When yeah. COVID really happened this year. So that's when I really jumped in. I, I think I started thinking about it in 2019, November, December. I, I didn't take any action. I just okay. read, read, read it, read forms, you know, like follow YouTube, Verum, you know, Gabriel, yep. you know, all those guys. And I say, oh yeah, this I think I can do this, but it seems really a lot of work. But but then when once you know something really affects yourself, you're like, oh shoot, like I gotta do something about it. So that, that's when I really took action. Uh, and then you know the rest of the story. I kind of try out a few products, didn't work out. I actually got kind of semi scammed by one 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 kind of one like mentor guy, and because he just didn't really <laughs> okay. provide any value, he just okay. told me to start like a general store. Yeah, and uh didn't really he just like he just his method would just keep trying <laughs> like okay. he is like you know how sure you have means, a very yeah uh, like you know how you have a very structured like product page that you set up correct that of like certain things you want to see in certain places but for yep. him it's just throw it onto your page and just effort, uh, just... uh do it no uh, run it for three days doesn't work <laughs> new product doesn't work new product until you hit something okay so it's really like really like throw something in the wall and hope it sticks kind of way right which yeah. after a real after a month i realized this can't be the right way to do e- e-com. <laughs> yep. So I, that's why I feel like I got semi scam. But he, he, for him, he says, "Yeah, this works if you do it enough, enough time. Like, <laughs> you, you, I don't know, two hundred products. I guess one will eventually stick, right? Like people yeah. will eventually buy it. But I don't know. Yeah. But obviously, um, I didn't really st- fully understand what I'm supposed to be doing until uh, you know, I joined John Jonathan's program. So okay. uh, that's kind of when I started. But if we want to go really back, you know, when I when I was in high school. Uh, I want to make some money to buy a car. So I was thinking of drop shipping AirPods, you know. Okay, no, no. <laughs> Too far back. Too far yeah. back. <laughs> Wait, so I mean, I, like you started on your own, right? Took action. Uh, I remember when I met you for the first time, I met on Zoom and then um, you actually made sales already, right? But Oh, yes, yeah, because yeah, yeah. Um, I saw one of your videos that you posted on one of the forums. Okay. Uh, and then I kind of just <laughs> reached, I was like, I'm just going to reach out to him. What the heck? And you were really nice enough to, you know, to put me on a call and then quickly realized like, you know, you, you cater to very high <laughs> clientele, like six, seven figure guys, right? It's like, okay, I'm nowhere near, but you were nice enough to give me some advice anyway, saying, Hey, I don't think this product is going to work. You know, uh, I don't, it's like just too, too saturated. Cause I think you told me like someone else came to you with the same product. Right. Yeah. And yeah, it wasn't going to work. And, and then I think later on is when uh, you introduced the, the training program you had. Okay, but I said like, because at, at that point, you were already doing something, but you're just facing immense difficulty, right? So I just want to know from a standpoint, because uh, now I see a lot of things probably like expert lens or whatever you want to see, call it, right? Like from your beginner lens, right? what is the difference between um, from when you were doing it alone versus getting guidance, right? What is the breakthrough there? I want to know what, you know what I mean? What is the actual thing that gets you the results that like what we saw just now? Oh, because uh, you're I facing mean, tremendous difficulty and you stuck a wall, right? You're like, keep smashing traffic. You don't understand why you're not getting results in a sense. Yeah. Right. So uh, what is I the think, shift? Yeah. I think the whole shift is just like when you're a beginner and you're doing it alone, there's mm-hmm. so much different voices and advice, you know, like every day someone's posting, Hey, I'm a pro, I'm an expert. You should follow this method. Right. Okay. And you're like, okay, I'm gonna do this. And then next day someone else posts something, you should be doing this. Then you go, fo- you go follow that method. So, you have no confidence in what you're doing. You're like you, you do it, you, you get results. You're like, oh, okay, great. I think, I think I'm doing what I'm doing is right, right. Or yeah. you do it, you don't. You're like, you don't know what went wrong. You don't because there's so many different elements, right, that goes into it. I think, and, and the difference between getting like someone that you can trust to give you the right guidance is he's telling you 100% this is gonna work because look, I have case studies that says I, I, I hit seven figures with these products, like. Like trust me, to do this method, and and it takes buy-in too, right? You gotta yeah. you gotta be like, hey, I okay, I I I I'm gonna do everything he says. I'm gonna do the homework, you know, mm-hmm. and like really execute on it. And 
you know, that, it was it was hard, honestly, like to do that. But I I, I was on the mindset like, this is my last try, you know, because yeah, <laughs> I, I, I always spent I always spent like three months worth of money on it. I was like, you know, if I join Jonathan's program, it doesn't work out. Like I, I had it on my calendar, like I, if by October, if I don't even <laughs> yeah. hit like a, if I, yeah, yeah. I I'm serious, I, okay. I, I don't, I, I'll take my phone later. But I said, I put it on my calendar. If I don't hit like a one K, one K day by October, like yeah. I'm done, you know? Yeah. And I, and basically through your program, I was able to do that by October. So that's why I was, it gave me the motivation to, you know, buy both products and keep going. But yeah, yeah. I'll just to answer your question. Like the main thing was just having a system you can believe in and just be able to follow one instead of like all these different voices out there. Correct. Correct. I, th- I think it's very scary, right? Like if you're a beginner and everyone keeps telling you different things, you literally don't know what is the truth anymore. Right. Yeah. So like no, no, why? That's, that's exactly right. But the, the, I guess, I want to understand your psychology where it's like, a, you bought from me. It means you trusted me enough, right? Why Why trust me over literally anybody? You get me? <laughs> that, that's something else as well. So I, why would you trust me versus, why would you buy my stuff versus someone else's? Uh, honestly, uh, I guess it, what gave you the edge is that call before you, you try to sell me on the program, you know? Like you could have been someone just that just be like, yo, you're not my type of clientele I'm looking for, you know, you're not making nearly enough money and <laughs> yeah. I can just like, you just, you know, go F off, you know, like, you know, you're just too small fry, you know, but no, like, but the, the fact that you took the time to understand where I'm, where I'm at, you know, to uh, give me some advice on it. And, and then, and honestly, like I, I, I still hesitate it because like I told you, I got scammed from the kind of like scam from the other guy. Yeah. I, mean, I asked you a ton of questions. If you remember uh, leading up to it, I, yep. I didn't decide to join your program till the last day. Like you're, yep. you're telling me, Hey, this is 24 hours left. Like you got yeah, it's, it's really 24 hours. So <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. it was, it was. I, and then I, I was just like, and I was talking to my wife about it. I was like, yeah, like, you know, he seems very genuine. He seems like a nice guy. I don't think he's trying to, you know, like scam me this time. Like I want to, I want to believe in, in human nature one more time. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think it's really just came down to, I, saw that you were like, you know, just a kind person that didn't, wasn't out there to scam people. You were really trying to teach something that was going to benefit me if I put in the effort to learn it. Right. Yeah. And, and honestly, uh, I was still hesitant going into it, but then that week one was like, got me shook, you know, that week <laughs> one was, no, like the week one, when you were talking about the it offer, gave you too much information. Is it? No, it was the week one was just like mind blowing. You know, like that week, week one was probably worth the worth the money right there, because that week one I was just like, oh, okay, I, I was doing everything incorrectly. Yeah. You know that week yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I know you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because like because like, everyone, yeah. everyone was just kind of like just watching you go through the slides and like in silent, and they're like, I think a lot of people on the call was like realizing sure. they also did things <laughs> not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How they're supposed to, you know, because they're just yeah. learning random things, saying. Like random gurus telling them, oh, it's easy. Just put up a page, you know, write three bullet points. That's all you have to do, you know? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Do, you, do you realize that um, on the outside, like uh, before, before joining anything, right? You always see the, the results in the case studies, right? But then in week one, I don't teach you the results of case studies or ads. Do, do, do you realize that I don't even teach ads? Because yeah. ads is not yeah. important. Yeah. So like, like from there, I think you really understand like how, how to get results nowadays. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We like week one, we're just solely focused on like the angle, the offer, and the customer right yeah. side. So it's yeah, not even on the ad side. Yeah, yeah, correct. So I mean, like f- from this bear thing, sorry, bear product, right? What yeah. do you think you'll be moving to? What's your next step for you? Um, uh, honestly, like after getting this experience with, um, you know, bringing a product like in, in like in house and learning the whole full cycle, I would say. Of, of e-commerce um my i think i think what i really, really realized is i don't like like purely drop shipping a product like i don't like just taking someone else's like and something that anyone else can copy right yeah. like what i realized is if you can if you can learn to funnel if you can learn how to market if you can learn how to put together a video ad the, the skill really set be, essentially yeah security yeah, you really should be looking at something that no one else can copy from you easily yeah. Like say you put together this amazing funnel, right? But then you just do net massager. Well, someone can just take that and be like, well, I, I found the same supplier that, <laughs> and that, could, that has this funnel. Like what's, what's, what's stopping him copying everything I did, all right. my hard work, you know, yeah. nothing, right? And then because basically that, that stops my future growth, right? 
So my next part is definitely something that's going to be more, um, I would say, well, like white label, right? Mm -hmm. Something that's more uh, my own, something I can confidently put my own uh, logos on it, something that I can say, this this is one of a kind. Like, mm -hmm. you can go Google search, but you're not going to find this again. Like, right now, if they Google search Rosebear, they can find five other sellers, and that's the problem with me. Yep. You know, like, they can find other people that sells it. So they, uh, when I use, like, the app, like, Lucky Orange, right? Like, you know how, like, when you see them, like, browsing your store, you're you like, know. what? Yeah. And you, they're like, why, why do they stay idle for like 20, 30 seconds? You know what they're doing? They're pressing another tab. They're Google searching this thing. Can I buy this cheaper somewhere else? <laughs> and they're, yeah. That's literally what they're doing, I'm sure. You know, yeah, then yeah, they, yeah. they always pause, they come back to your store, and then they exit out your store. Yeah. So I, I think uh, dropshipping is a great learning ground where you can learn about how to do this, right? Yep. But at a certain point, when you, if you really want to take this seriously, you need to find something that you have some kind of you know passion for and Make your own, like, you know, go go find a manufacturer to change something of that of a product you see on the market, or find something that you feel like you can confidently put your label on it and you can, you know, sell it as a one of a kind product that no one mm -hmm. else can copy. So, that's kind of yeah. what I'm seeing when, when I, if I do another product in the future. Yeah. Understood. There are some haters will say, uh, Alan's an accountant, so he's good at math, so he's definitely good at ads. What do you have to say to that? Uh, I would say they're like <laughs> dead wrong. <laughs> uh, I think Jonathan can contest on it. I don't, I'm not, I'm like super uncreative. Okay. Uh, the, the things I struggle with the most is uh, the non number side of things. Like I, I understand margin. I understand what I need to make money. You know, I understand what break even, break even point is that those things were super easy for me to understand from your yeah. lessons, right? What was hard was what people care about in the ad, you know, what, What's, what's a scroll stopper? Like what, what makes an ad good? You know, what, what's a marketing angle? Like how, how do you understand customer pain point? You know, how do you write a, a long form ad copy? You know, like those things I like struggle with, like as an accountant, like you don't, you don't think in those terms, you know, you're, you're just a straight number guy, right? Yeah, you're yeah, a number yeah. nerd. Yeah. You're one, you're one lane. Cause that's what I expect you to be, right? You're like, Oh, Hey, you do tax. Right. Even though I do tax, but yeah, <laughs> do you do tax, like, they expect you to do that. Right. Yeah. But no, like, seriously, like, I wasn't at all focused on the other side, and I think I think you 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 you, you had these you had this later lessons too about how you know it's important if you're gonna take this seriously or if you can do this full time to grow a team, right? Mm -hmm. So so then you focus on your strength, and then you can um, you know put put other things that other people may be good at on your team and have them do it. You know, have mm -hmm. them be the creative guy. So I think that was very very important to talk about. If you if you are someone that has the time single yeah. and do this full time that i think that's something you gotta look at down, down, the, down the road so i mean you, you you have daughter you have a family uh yeah. you're doing this full time how do you manage your time to uh balance is it like nine to five <laughs> like work then just afterwards hey, heck it open up as manager let's go 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 <laughs> like how, how it, does it, yeah. it really is like that jonathan okay. um like you know i, I finish my job around 6 p.m but then i have to go uh you know pick up my but work, you're working remote now right you said yeah, yeah, at home. So I, 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 I'm at desk working, Zoom meetings, and then around 6 p.m. I can get off, but I have to go pick up my daughter, um, dinner time with her, bath time with her, put her to sleep. So by that time, all that done is around like 9, 9.30, I would say. So yep. I'll say 10 p.m. is a safe time to, for me to start working on my side business. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> Jonathan knows, like, I don't, I don't want to do this, but it's kind of like if you want to, if you want to, if you want to believe in your hustle, you got to put in the time. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no other way. Yeah, your work, I think it's like unrivaled, honestly. Yeah. Uh, there's no, no other way, honestly. Like, so yeah. I would work till like 3 a.m. most nights when I was like, at, at when, especially, especially during the during the coaching sessions, right? Yeah, like, because yeah. you only gave us one week to turn around things, you know? Yeah. Like, I think I was one of the ones that actually got that product page done in a week, but it was, it was a lot of. Yeah, which, which, lot which of, tells you a lot, right? But it was, a lot of three, it was a lot of 3 a.m.s to get uh, that. Yeah. And, you know, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. just squeeze in a lot of 3 a.m.s to even get that product page done in a week, right? But, I, I, but I'm the type who was like, who turns in my homework, even in school, you know? Yeah, yeah <laughs> I, I, exactly. I turn in my homework. And I was like, my teacher gives me homework. I got to do my homework. So I, I, I did it and I, I turned in for, for, me, for feedback. But I was like, because that was kind of like, like I was mentioning, this is kind of like my, my, like my last hurrah my last try at yeah. seeing this e-com thing will work for me so i didn't want to half-ass it yeah don't excuse my language but yeah i didn't want to like <laughs> do that i want to, I want to make sure i'm like fully committed to it yeah. even with my limited amount of time but but like uh, those of you out there who has more time i would say like you could do this you can do like Easily. a way better job in 
yeah. eat ways easily. Like if you look at me who only have three, four hours a day and can do semi okay, you know, could get like 10K months, then you guys can do like 50K months, like right off the bat probably. Yeah. So I mean, like for people listening, right? You understand like Ellen has work ethic. Like uh, there's one, one, one of the sessions, like the, the cohort is like 12 people. And it's like of the 12 people, only like four or five of them actually do the work. Even though I tell them it's homework. And then the, the people who have least time do the most work, which just tells you how lazy people are. So like, if you just do the work, you're going to get a result. It's like not, <laughs> it's like no way you won't get a result. It's yeah. And, and like Alan, like he put three M nights, like how many people will put in that amount of effort? Yeah. Right. So, I mean, you, you can't teach work ethic. That one is like a foregone conclusion. Uh, but yeah. Okay. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's very yeah. important and, and it's very hard. And then I, I will say like, uh, you know, one piece of advice for whoever's listening is like, it's probably really great if you can get yourself a partner. If you can get yourself a partner, it's very, mo- you can motivate each other, you know, to do the <laughs> yeah. work. Because I know Paul has someone that works with him, right? Correct, correct. So then, yeah, they can like, kind of like, hey, you, you got to do this, man. You gotta, they keep it accountable. Like for myself, I kind of just kind of like, look at reminders, look at my phone. It's like, okay, I got to do this. And it's it's kind of like, I know I only have this much time, you know? I feel like sometimes people have too much time. They're like, oh, let me go watch some Netflix first before yeah. I start on this. But then <laughs> they limit themselves, right? They're like, you had eight hours to do this, but then you're not only down to three hours like Alan is, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, why? Exactly. Why? Yeah, yeah. Like, you can do a so much better job, you know? Like I'm, I'm like just hustling, trying to get something done when I, I might make mistakes along the way, but they, they can check everything, proofread everything, make sure like, you don't have any spelling mistakes in their ad copies, making sure like, you know, everything looks good. Mm. Uh, for me, I'm just like, oh, please, please don't make a mistake. Please stay awake enough <laughs> to check everything. Yeah, understood. And that's like very respectable, right? So, I, okay, I, and I go one more question. I guess, um, what, what, what do you think is like, uh, from the outside versus inside, what is important do you think? Okay, we talk, we talk about uh, taking action, right? Taking advice from other people. Like we, yeah. all the mindset stuff, uh, we all know that. But yeah. uh, what, what do you think is the main uh, change for you now versus then? My, Don't my say confidence, okay, it's not confidence. I'm, I want to know what tactic or what. Uh, like you're talking about mindset? Uh, no, no. Like um, what tactic or strategy do you think actually moved the needle for you? If that makes sense. Technical strategy. Oh, oh, definitely. Um, definitely the product page. Okay. Um, I think w- why I mentioned week one was so mind blowing was when you show us the correct way to, you know, format a product page that sells, right. That converts, right. Mm-hmm. Cause, uh, from what you teach and what I had before was like 180 degrees difference, you know? And that's why I worked so hard. Cause I was like, this, this makes sense. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. like I, I don't understand why I haven't been doing this. Like if yeah, you yeah. have all these elements, right? You, like, you have the, you have the testimonies, you have the benefits in a certain way, the features in a certain way, like people are going to start trusting your page. Right. And yep. that's kind of what I was definitely say move the needle. And mm-hmm. I was definitely say that's something that can, you know, that you can keep improving on. Like yeah. once you really believe in your product, like if I really want to continue this long-term say like Rose bear was something I believe in long-term, right. Mm-hmm something I would do is basically hire someone uh, to do a custom page, right? Make sure the, my uh, uh, low speed super fast, you know, so it lowers the bounce rate, things like that, but still keep the same format, right? Yep. The formatting had to be that, that way. So yeah, the product page uh, lesson that you gave us was, I would say hundred percent what uh, gave me the success I have today. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's great. That's great to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay, so I don't want to take more of your, uh, a lot of your time. Uh, last question, I guess. What, uh, what does your wife think of this? How, how do you plan to uh, move forward from here? I, I know you said you want to move on to a different product as well. Uh, I also talked to you about, hey, think, think long-term time horizons, right? Don't think so short-term stuff. What do you think uh, your next six months or so would look like? Yeah. Um, so- I know that's a loaded question. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, honestly speaking, um, so, I mean, just, just speaking frankly, right. So Jonathan, when, uh, in his program, he does two one-on-ones at the end of his program to really like kind of evaluate and talk you do about future plans. Right. And in those one-on-ones, Jonathan was like, you know, you can actually, now that you know how to sell online, you don't have to focus on product. You can focus on selling service. You know, you can you can take your accounting skills and, you know, start an agency, do something like that. So like one of the things I'm thinking about is, yeah, you know, if since inventory 
has its own problems, right? Make it like returns and all that stuff. Why don't I sell a digital product, right? Why don't I, I use these marketing skills about uh, customer pain point and then put it towards what I am, you know, what I major in, what I'm, what I'm actually naturally good at, you know? And it's, it's something that resonates with me. So something I'm like, one of, one of the things I'm thinking about is that kind of path is that I take the marketing skill I have, but apply it to something that I've been doing all my life, which is, you know, my career path, which is in accounting and finance. Yeah. So yeah, that's something I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about. And, um, my wife is, uh, supportive. supportive. Uh, yeah. You kind of, you okay. kind of when yeah. you're a family man, Jonathan, where you'll learn this probably later on, okay. you, you need your wife to have a buy-in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you need your wife to be accepting of whatever you're doing because you know, you got to think as a, like a family, you know, because yeah. what you do affects her. And of course you were rather, I spend more time with her. Right. And, and the kid. Yeah. Right. Uh, but, uh, but as she understands, I'm doing it for a very pure reason. I'm doing it because I want to make sure if, you know, for, you know, God forbid I lose my job or that stuff, something else happens, I can provide for the family. Yep. And that, that's my whole motivation of doing this every day is why I lose sleep. Yeah, <laughs> and why, why I'm like sleepy at work, you know, is because yeah, it's, I'm it's worth it. It's, it doesn't matter to you. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about my daughter. I'm thinking about my wife. I'm thinking about putting food on the table. So to yeah. me, there's nothing more moving than that. So, um, you know, with, with the things I learned, I want to create a path where, you know, I can, uh, create some kind of uh, my next product or service can be something that can, you know, really have a long-term play element to it. Something mm-hmm. I can, I feel like I can do and, you know, hopefully just be the main source maybe one day, you know, yeah. that's, that's really the, the ultimate goal is uh, finding that financial freedom and not be tied down to a nine to five. I mean, that's, I think that's everyone's goal mm-hmm. that, that probably watching this. Yeah. 